Hi everybody. This is Urban CB Heart Teresa. I just came back from a haul. I spent one hundred dollars in Marshalls. They have mad clearance going on. Markdowns, clearance, markdowns, good deals. Okay. So I said, let me come back and show y'all what I got. All right. So we're gonna start with this big old bag first. I got this pearl essence uh ready set and go it's a primer and a, a, a setting spray and it says that it's camera ready priming kit uh, I got it for $10 $9.99. I definitely want to try this out and I'll let y'all know how this works out for me. Got me some Alifia Authentic African Black Soap with Shea Butter, Wild Mint, and Peppermint all in one uh, body wash. This big old bottle. What is it? Uh, I think it's 32 ounces. And I paid $7.99 for it. And let me get out my little magnifying glass and tell y'all what's in it. It starts off with uh, African mint uh, extract, uh, laurel something, uh, saponated uh, shea butter, um, per, uh, palm kernel oil, and peppermint oil and that's it smells good I needed some I normally use that uh uh peppermint soap by what is it the um the doctor one I normally use that but I said I'm gonna give this a try $7.99 you can't beat that price all right they had a bunch of the uh um Camille Rose stuff. So I got the Camille Rose turmeric soap. It was on sale for $2 on clearance. And this one is uh, coconut oil, turmeric powder, chickpea powder, cocoa butter, uh, seaweed powder, and beeswax. Can't go wrong with that. And that's for skin. I guess you could use it for your face or body. So, doing good on pricing. I got this Milani. Uh, it says Milani number one sunlight uh, spotlight face and eye strobe palette. Now, one of these shades going to work for me. This look like a rosy color. This is like a bronzy color. That's that white color. Uh, ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open it. Dang on it. I want to open it so I can show y'all. Let's so see if I can open it real quick. So what y'all been up to? It's the last day of my vacation. I worked three of them. And then I had a dentist appointment today. I could have worked one more, but my body was like, nah, child, you need the rest. I go back to work tomorrow from 12 to, I think, almost 10 p.m. Come on, baby, open. I think I got it. I broke my comb in the process. Yeah, I got it. All right. So this is what it's looking like. Okay, let's swatch. I'm going with that rosy color first. Then I got the bronzy color. And then that whitish color. Ooh, I think I put too much of that one. I figured that one wasn't really going to be my skin. 
color, but they don't look that bad. All right, two ninety nine. Oh, it didn't break. It didn't break. But oh my goodness! All right, got me some sunflower seeds from Big Lots, and a lemonade from Big Lots too for ninety nine cents. I got this. This is a uh, pores. Uh, Lily of the Valley Iris um, body butter. Nice big old container of it. And then I got the um, Iris Lily of the Valley cotton Eau de toilette, uh, 1.69 ounces. And this came as a set, as you can see, it's in plastic. Prices. $12.99. I don't know how it's going to smell, but I said I'm this that was going to be my blind buy for today. So I'm going to see how that smells on a later date. Got St. Ives Blackhead clear, Clearing uh, Cleanser with green tea. Uh, it's a green tea scrub. This cost $2.99 also. Got a blackhead right up in this section right here. And I still don't know what this spot is here. I'm going to be rubbing it on it. Even though this one has been drying out, it's got like a little bit lump. And it ain't as dark as it used to be. So my skin is used looking. And somebody told me to use, a, um, what do you call it, honey on my face. I used it for over a month. Over a month. I use honey night and day to clean my face. Still got spots. Still broke up and broke out. Recently I had a breakout. One right up in here, over in this section, over here, and one right here. So that honey was a bust. Over a month I used it. More than a month. Then I got Aunt Jackie's Curl La La. A defining curl custard smells so good and guess how much I got this for $3.99 I know this sell for more this is a uh, how many ounces uh, nine ounce jar I know this costs more than $3.99 on, on Jackie's I've, I've seen the ads and stuff all right, I got this um, Alifa hand soap with moringa leaf and Aragon oil, vanilla passion, and it's 12 ounces. Now listen to these ingredients. Moringa leaf, uh, some coca, something propol, I know that probably ain't no good for me. Then the saponated um, shea butter, coconut oil, um, raspberry extract, vanilla extract, arrogan oil, and um, passion fruit extract. And that's the that's that. And it's a hand soap. So let me give this a try and see if it keeps my hands soft. All right. I got two of these. These are the uh, Philosophy Apricot and Cream Little Lotions. Uh, the 30 mil, one fluid ounce hand creams. And I got these for $1.99. Good to put in your pocket, have for work. I got this. It's a... Uh, Captain Black and Ships Avocado and Peppermint Hand Cuticle and Foot Balm. The ingredients on this, this is the, and it costs $5.99. This is the only reason I got this. The ingredients are, um, ooh, come on. Uh, avocado oil, jojoba oil. Rosehip seed oil, beeswax, 
shea butter, cocoa seed butter, uh, vitamin C, peppermint oil, mirth essential oil, candelua extract. That's it. I took a little whiff of that. That was a little pricey for the container size. I think I said it's um, two ounces, two ounce jar. But it smells so good. I don't know where to put it at. Can't really see. But it just it's got good. Oh, it smells so peppermint good. Ooh, dang. Butterfingers to that. So good. So I'm gonna definitely be using this as a foot treatment. I was thinking about just putting it in my bag for work, but I, mm, I do. It really smells good. Maybe I will just use it for my hands. Anyway, continue on. I got the uh, Shea Moisture's uh, Provident Pro Provence Lavender Baby Nighttime Soothing Lotion, and it was four ninety nine. And the ingredients is all good. You got to read that yourself. It's too much. Uh, I got eight fluid ounces. Big container. This would be a body lotion in the spring. Then I got another uh, Camille Rose. They had a, quite a few of her stuff. Caramelized cane and sugar balm. Uh, the ingredients is cane, sugar, um, sugar beets. Shea press. Ooh, it's a lot. It's a lot. But it's good stuff. I was reading in the store. I got this for $6. And I know this costs more than that. Let's see what it looks like. But I'm hoping it's sealed. So this is, it is sealed. I don't want to open it yet. So this is a, um, a, sh caramelized cane and sugar balm. You know what I really thought it was? Oh, I can smell it. It smells sweet. It smells almost like a... No, maybe it's this, um, the, the other thing. But, um, I thought this was a sugar scrub when I first got it, but this is like a shea butter. So, this would be nice. Definitely something to slather on. Alright, now my next set... I was in the clothing section. I had about six tops. And I got two of them. This one is pink. I wanted something pink and fluffy for a while. This is by uh, Ellen Tracy. And it was $19.99 at Marshall's. And I got it on clearance for $10. So I'm going to try it on real fast and, and let y'all see. Right, so this is what it's looking like. My full figured body. As soft as can be. I think this is uh, extra large if I ain't mistaken. So nice and soft. I was like, oh man, I'm going to love wearing this. Put on a little nice necklace and stuff. Some makeup. And I think that would look nice. And the next one is a, a snake print. This one is by um, Jones of New York. Was uh, $19.99. That's what I got it for. This one wasn't on clearance. It looks like a button-up shirt, but it doesn't button all the way. It just has that, like, collared neck and uh, opening. So you'll see it in a minute when I try it. All right, so I got this one. This is the collar part right here. And it has no buttons right here, but it looks like it's like a button-up shirt. But no other buttons are on there. These sleeves can be pulled up. It has uh, a little thing where you can, like, fasten it up this way but it's winter I'd rather pull it down for now and this is uh, uh, I'm going to be sure these sizes I'm about to tell you <laughs> but I like it I like it 
All right. So the Ellen Tracy one. Uh. It is a large. This is a large too. I wasn't sure if I got the ones that were uh, uh, extra large or not, but now that I seen that one, I knew I got it from the same uh, rack section. This is a large too. So like I said, I like it. I like this print. Don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but got out, had me a little fun. So I go back to work tomorrow. All right, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I think I'm up to like 940. About 60 more subscribers. We in there. Well, I'm in there finally. I appreciate you all. Thank you.